things about this house. This is about a 1,650 square foot house. It's kind of geared more for for the retiree, empty nester. Uh, it's the not so big house. Um, a lot of a lot of big house features, but it's a, a small house, big feel. A few things about the front. Got the, a nice uh, accent, Dutch quality stone. Um, got cedar, or well, not cedar, made a hardy shake made a hardy plank a concrete fiber board made to look like cedar got an exit window up of the garage and an exit door, decorative dormer up on the roof uh, a few things about this lot were kind of interesting as you can see there's a nice pretty nice slope to it here and these lots are very narrow and they can drop off on the edge so what we did up here uh, we got a two car garage and we added a golf cart garage or a tandem garage it's kind of very popular days with the carriage hinges and handles, decorative accents, but you can see the way this lot, the height differential from this lot to that lot. There's a gentleman up the street who had his house flooded three times, so we definitely did not want to recreate that result. So a couple of the techniques we used, we've got a retaining wall here, okay, and that's got a drainage, it's got gravel and drainage behind it and a drain to take the water away. And also we put a poured concrete wall here, it's kind of like a mini part basement wall on this side so we get this dirt up higher because there was no way to slope the water away. So that's a technique we use there and this concrete wall runs all the way to the end, all the way down this side of the house. Um, we stepped it down here, but as you can see, you know, the water has to be able to drain. And we didn't, you don't want to put dirt up against framing. So anyway, let's go take a look inside. Inside front. This is a golf course community, so we have a golf cart garage. Now you look at the plat the uh, windows on the front, those three lines, that's called plaza, which kind of consistent with that craftsman theme. You look at our returns, not quite the Queen Anne return, but it's that craftsman re return there, the way the gutter wraps around. Maybe that makes a nicer effect and really adds some more pop to the front of the house. This is a fiberglass door, but it's got a wood grain and it's craftsman style. Three windows and dental mold. And you notice that those three windows go with the theme of the windows on the house. We went with clear, a, a clear knotty pine ceiling. Oftentimes we stain them. This one, this house kind of has a clear wood theme. I'm gonna take a look inside. Come in, there's a foyer. We have a classic Roman arch on the door style. There is our new light fixture. Now, when you come in, you see the fireplace with matching stone and we did some cedar beams and accent beams in the great room ceiling uh, you notice that it, it's on a stained cedar as well to go with that uh, clear wood theme in this house um, you have a nice big island dark granite and light cabinets and I don't know if you can see it here slightly different color slightly different color on the island um, on all our houses, we do under cabinet lights, standard, and you look at that tile backsplash. That is almost like a subway tile, but it's got a little bit of a travertine type of texture to it. And you get that nice range hood over cooktop. Now, being as this neighborhood is geared, you get more retirees and empty nesters, we have a wall oven. And the uh, floor oven is more economical, but you do have to bend over, which is something, you know, some of us people, as we get older, don't like to do. There's your, your breakfast area, dining area. Get a great view of the woods. Get a great natural area back there. And screen porch. Now we did something a little different on this porch. It was pretty cool. Is we had some extra cedar siding from another job. So we, we lined the porch with a, with a clear cedar. And of course, knotty pine up top, unstained. So you get that uh, natural wood effect everywhere. 
And we'll show you, we get some more of that in the master bedroom. There's a screened in area, you know. And the uh, natural area out back so you can watch the deer and antelope play. And of course, ceiling fan right outside. Now off the kitchen here, we'll get more view of the kitchen. This way leads to your garage and your laundry room. Laundry room, we do like that scrub sink for various reasons. I have the exact same sink in my house. Where your washer and dryer would go. You see out here where that concrete wall is, this window well gets really deep because we had to make that wall thicker, a thickness of concrete wall and framed wall. Oh, technical difficulty. Some natural light in your laundry room. Over here is the pantry. And it is a nice size pantry. Lots of shelves. Now some houses we do the frame shelves. This one has wire shelves. The frame shelves are a bit nicer. The wire shelves are much more economical. Now that's all going to be up to client's personal constitution here. Now in the garage. See for Smaller home, this is a nice big garage because everybody needs garage space. And see, there's our, there's our uh, retaining wall over there, poured concrete wall. But that's your, your second golf cart or accessory garage. Now you notice in the ceiling, see a lot of these can or recessed lights. Uh, we like those. It's fluorescent cloud lights just don't work for us. And we put four, those, floor, those old fluorescent cloud lights we used to put in. Back when I was a younger man, they were, uh, they seemed to be perfect for catching dead bugs. Now here's your hallway of the floor. There's an engineered hardwood floor, it's an oak, but it's got that kind of gray, that gray color that's in, kind of gray driftwood, whitewash look to it. It's a really beautiful floor. Hall bathroom. And then we've got a quartz countertop, a square sink, and our delta linen faucets. Um, got a separate room here for the tub, for the tub and commode. That way if one child is in there, grandbaby or whatever, you can close it off and it doesn't shut down the whole bathroom in here. Anyway, uh, two bedrooms. Put a nice gray carpet in there. Windows of the plaza. We try to put wire our bedroom, make sure they're wired for ceiling fans because not everybody wants them. And we've got a ceiling fan in here as well. So you get a nice front facing, front facing bedrooms. Now into the master suite. So again, we've got a nice carpet, which is really cool here. Well, there's a few features here. One, we've got a tray ceiling. It's a raised ceiling, but it's not, a lot of times people are just going with the one raised rectangle with crown mold just to make it not too busy because the clean lines um, seem to be what's, what's in vogue here. Um, next to the bed, of course, we've got outlets with USB ports. That window seat. Uh, it's a really cool color to go with that reclaimed wood, but we line the inside of this window seat with reclaimed wood. That's all the wood for that really cool kind of cabin effect. It goes with the theme of the house and that, that matches the floors pretty well. That, that kind of weathered gray driftwood look. So that's a cool effect. That it's the first time we've done that on a window seat. Now, if you look out here, out the master, You've got access to the screen room, access to outdoors. So if nice fall day, you want to hear the crickets, want to hear the outside, you can just open the door. It's all screened in and you don't have to worry about um, bending over and lifting up windows, etc. Now your master closet, you don't see it here, but you see that really cool door and that's also reclaimed wood. See, it's kind of that wormwood, kind of get that antique wormwood effect and look at that cool handle. Love the handle. Um, and then there's your master closet. Plenty of room and shelves. Your master, so that's your access to your master closet. In your master suite, got his and her sinks. Got one sink here, one sink there. Delta linden faucets, another standard. Quartz top with a dark cabinet and with a 24 by 24 tile. Still kind of that gray tile, look at that shower. We have a linen closet in here. Nice to have the linens right near where you shower. That's a really cool shower. Semi-frameless door. We have our gray mosaics. And the same floor tile here. 
I like this decorative band because it's subtle. It goes with the color of everything. And of course, transom window that we love. And you get you know, view of your trees, your niche, shampoo, it's got your seat, store shampoo and belongings, shave legs, whatever. And uh, we've got the wand. This is, this, I really like this. It's just, it's just not too busy. You do have a temperature control so you can set your temperature. And this is magnetic. It just comes right off. It's right back in so you can take out the wand if and when you, if and when it's needed. And you got your commode room over here. With its own window. I like that uh, recess light. They call it the fan can because it's a fan as well. It's, it's your fan as well as a light. All in one piece. Very cool. Anyway, so this house has all the features that you'd want just for everyday living if you don't have large families to raise. Uh, but it's still three bedrooms. You get three bedrooms, you get a great room, nice living area, and lots of extra garage space and a screen porch. When you come in, you still get that open feel of being in the woods. So it is a really cool plan. Anyway, one last view. If you found anything of value in this video, or like our videos, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button because we've got a lot more great content to come. Thanks for watching. Oh, also, we should be putting a link below. We will be selling these plans. So when these plans appeal to you, you should be able to find all the information you need on the link below.